Teresa and I have a pretty big haul to share with you today. I have a little, well, maybe not a little bit of everything, but I have a few different stores to share with you. I've got some Dollar Tree, I've got some Target, I'm trying to look around what else I have. And I have a couple things from Ikea. My Ikea isn't really close by, so I don't do too much there very often. So I'm just going to jump into it. I'm going to show you the Dollar Tree stuff first because that is what I have the most of. I know, shocker. Um, so I was able to find some of these big letters again. They had them out last year and I want to say last year I probably picked up like two each of them. They do them in Gather, Family, and Thankful. I went ahead and picked up four of, I know that seems like a lot, of the four of the Gather, four of the Family, and, sorry, it's in the way. And really the only thing is, the reason why I picked up those, so many of them, is because last year, throughout the year, I would reach for them. Because obviously those are pretty good things, especially if you do farmhouse you know, DIYs, decor, that kind of thing. So I went ahead and got four each of those because I know I'll use them. I'll put them up like in the closet and I'll kind of at least keep it in like the back of my mind that they're there so that I'll go back to looking at and getting them. Now this one, I pulled it out of the bag and I was like, well, that's not terribly surprising, I suppose. Um, it's just a round Dollar Tree mirror that obviously got assaulted by something in my car. Um, so it's broken. But not a terrible, it's not really that big of a deal. I don't really use the mirror part, so it's not the end of the world. I'll just be very careful when I open it up to make sure I don't end up with plasticky mirror bits everywhere. I found these. I have never seen them before, and I don't know if I've ever seen anybody haul them, but they are dry erase dots. They're removable, and I thought that they were kind of cool. They had this one with these different patterns. I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I thought, you know what, let's grab them. I got, there's that kind or that print. And then there's these ones that are a little bit different. These ones look a little bit more tropical. Okay. I guess they kind of both look a little tropical. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going to use them for, but I went ahead and grabbed them just because I thought it was kind of a cool idea. I'm just trying to take it all in. <laughs> I've got some of these egg con containers, cartons that get, they're, they're actually really cool. I've never seen them in person and I actually saw somebody in front of me had them in their cart and I saw them. I'm like, oh, I've seen those before on YouTube channels and I've never seen them in person. I'm like, I'm going to grab some. So I got four because I know a lot of people will kind of decorate them or do something fun with them. I have to think up, think up some ideas or something like that, but they have a lid. They have a little thing that, you know, a little hole that's easy for you to take the lid off. They obviously will stack if you are a person who likes a lot of eggs and you have, you know, virtual, not virtual, <laughs> vertical space, like in your refrigerator, those are great. So I don't know, like I said, I might DIY with some, I might put a couple in the fridge with eggs in them. It's not often that uh, you see me buying something from Dollar Tree for its intended purpose. So write it down. It happened. Okay, I guess it hasn't technically happened yet, but it's likely to happen. Uh, I found in one of the stores, I actually was, um, when I was over at uh, Ikea, it's like a good half hour, 45 minutes away from my house. Uh, so I don't go over there often. And I live in Orlando and it's a lot of traffic. Um, but I went in a store I don't normally go into and they had a bunch of the different um, Crafter Square fabrics. They're just a, 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 what do they call them? A fat quarter, I guess. It's, um, I tore, tore it off that one. Sorry. Hold please. Um, they're 20 by 21. So you've got one with the bright sunflowers. I'm not going to open them all up. This one's like a plaid. I thought that was really fun. It's almost like a summery plaid. You know what I mean? Like it's not super fall, but it's still fall because it's plaid. But yellow and teal, I thought that was really fun. This one with a bunch of leaves. And this one is got the truck. I'll open this one because it's a little hard to see. There's a lot, a lot more going on on this one. This one I did get two of because I thought it was really cute. And I was like, you know what, if I make something out of that, like a pillow, I probably need to. But you see, it's got the sunflowers and the pumpkins and the little teal truck on buffalo plaid. Can you get any more farmhouse than that? I mean, 
you throw all of those elements on something and it's just colorful farmhouse perfection. <laughs> uh, there's this one with some scarecrows. That's kind of cute. My daughter will probably like that one. So I don't know, maybe I'll make her a little pillow or something. I don't know. And then this one's got some different pumpkins on it. That one's got a lot going on too. With a bunch of different pumpkins. Very traditional, you know, fall. And like I said, I got two of the truck ones. I couldn't help myself. Um, let me see. So I was able to find these. These are the metal words uh, that they do that are galvanized and they come in thankful, harvest, and welcome. You kind of can't see them there. I'll open up a pack. I may have some of these left over from last year. I cannot remember. I know I have the Halloween ones because I didn't use very many of them last year. So I definitely wasn't concerned about buying those, but here's the heart. If I don't drop it. Here's the harvest one. Sorry, they're all, they get all kind of like stuck together. Here is the welcome one. And here is the thankful one. I figured, you know what, three for a dollar, it's a really good deal. I think I got three, I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think I got three packs of those. I know I got more than one, but I don't see it now. So maybe I did only buy one. It's probably somewhere. I'll have to go through my bags and make sure I didn't like leave it in the bag and end up throwing it away. That wouldn't be good, but I got those. Now, if you have a hard time finding any of those kind of words that are cut out or anything like that, check Joann's um, because they do a lot of the wood lettering cutouts and stuff because it just sometimes it's easier to find them there. You can use coupons on them and get them for a really good price. And they're wood, so they're a little easier to deal with. Like those I've tried to paint before, they're not the easiest to paint. Uh, we'll keep going with some words. I've got some Harvest DIY words. I did pick up three packs of these. There are six in a pack. I'll show them all to you. They're really cute. They're just little cutouts. They're wood. I thought that they were really cute. So you got Welcome Fall. I'm sorry for the crinkly. You've got, hold on, there. Oh, I guess you have two, two Welcome Falls. They must have like two of each, must be. Uh, blessed and give thanks. Oh, farm fresh and hello fall. I must be missing one on that one. I got two of the same thing. Hold on, I gotta know. I gotta know. Oh, hello autumn. I got two of some, right? Hold on. Yeah, I got two hello fall. I should have gotten a hello autumn. I got a, a pack of something different, I guess, on that one. So anyways, you should have six different ones in the package. It's a pretty decent deal. Six little words. I mean, they're perfect just to add on to, you know, a little project or something. They're really cute. They'll stain reasonably well. So pretty happy with that. I picked up a couple of these little clip-on pumpkins. These are just the cream ones. And I was, uh, watching Sammy over in Unicorn Dust Designs and she was saying like she was doing something with them or some pumpkin similar to this and she was saying like oh I should have done like the baking soda paint and I think that's a great idea I will definitely look to do that because when you paint these you can see all the little spots and stuff that aren't great because they're just styrofoam so definitely gonna do that if I get to them that's the only problem like when I shop as much as I do I don't always get to everything because I don't make you know I don't do 10 DIYs every video three days a week or anything. So sometimes I don't get to them. That's okay. It'll just go into a bin for the next year, probably. I've got some more of these make your own ornaments. I got a pack of the ghosts and I went ahead and bought another thing of pumpkins because they're super cute. Why not? They have some of the witches hats. Go ahead and grab those and some of little cats. Now, I probably have some of these in my stash that I have to pull out that I haven't done yet. So who knows? Um, at some point in time in the near future, I am going to be doing a little gift for a subscriber, maybe more than one subscriber on this channel. So make sure you keep watching. I won't announce it. I won't tell you ahead of time. It'll just be in a video. So keep an eye out for it. And I will do some different things, especially if I pull out my my bin from last year. And if I have 
some things that I have doubles of, I'll definitely include those. You guys have to let me know what things are you having a hard time finding. Uh, let me know in the description box. That way I know what to keep an eye out and I'll try to include it in that uh, gift. There's certain words YouTube doesn't like and the other word that's similar to gift is one of those words. Um, I picked up a couple of these pillar candles. There's nothing particularly special about them. They're just, oh, maybe they work. Maybe they don't work. Oh, it's got a little pulley tab. So you just pull the tab, you, and it maybe, you know, I can't remember if they flicker at all or not, or if they're just solid, but those are good to have, especially if you paint things that you put your candles in. You don't really want the open flame exposed to something you painted. <laughs> Found these this morning. I thought they were too cute to pass up. And I have a vast collection of napkins that I really need to do stuff with, but I just keep buying more. Story of my life keep buying more. Uh, so I've got this one with the sunflower and then I had to get there's two different there's there's like three sizes of each one so I was this was kind of like the medium print of it so I went ahead and just got the one of the sunflower but then the pumpkins with the sunflowers I went ahead and got the large one and the smaller one. I just I couldn't help it it's just really well done they look very cute very like watercolor almost I'd seen some stuff on Kirkland's website where they had pumpkins kind of painted like this on some decor items. And I was like, well, that would be pretty good for dupes or at least inspired by obviously probably not dupes, but so I'll hold on to those for some decoupaging. And I've got, I saw these, this, I think I don't think I've seen these before. I could be wrong, but they're little chalkboards. They stand, they stand up, they have a little stand. It looks like they have some chalk in there. Oh, yep, it says chalkboard with chalk included. <laughs> I thought they were really cute. Obviously, I think they're meant to be kind of more like for a wedding, but I thought they were really cute. They'd be really fun for the holidays if you want to label anything that you have people over or anything like that. I think it would be cute. Oh, I have a lone pumpkin. He is not from today's haul. He's been here, but apparently it was on my table. My daughter was in here watching shows on my TV that's in here, so she probably moved my pumpkins around. I've got a few of these apple cinnamon flavored things. This one is the scented wax melts. They come in a pack of six. I've never used them from Dollar Tree before, but I've got a project in mind. They smell a little bit. They're not terribly strong, which is probably not a bad thing because cinnamon isn't my biggest flavor that I like the most of things. I think my husband likes it better. And this one is another apple cinnamon one, but this one is a fragrance oil. I'm going to be making my own candle over on my DIY channel coming up. As you're watching this, it'll probably have already passed. <laughs> Sorry, crinkly. I'm just going to give this one a test. I'm curious on this oil. Oh, that is way stronger. That is way stronger. Um... They had one, I'm sorry about that. They had one that was in like a eucalyptus one. Come to think of it, that one would probably be really nice just in general. Not necessarily a fall smell, but in general. And of course I've got, you know, a big pillar candle so that I can melt this down, use the wax, use the wick to make my own candle. It's going to be more than just make my own candle. It'll be, it'll be cute. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. I think these were out a lot in the summertime and they never got them in my store, at least never when I'd seen them. So I picked up three of these. They do it like this and I think they have like the gold with the white. I thought it'd be kind of fun to try to dress it up for fall. I'll probably try to take this, you know, little knob off of it maybe. It looks like it's just glued in there. So just like some heat, you know, a little bit of time with my heat gun and hopefully that'll come off. The for a second, I thought the gold was coming off. I'm like, wow, really well made. But no, it's it's like you can still see the wood grain even underneath that gold, though. So they're pretty, but I thought if I do something, can try to get something done with those for fall, it'd be better. Oh, there the other letters are. My other packs of the metal words. I was like, I know I had more than one. Uh, I saw these stickers, and I'm not really sure if I like them a lot or if I just, I don't know. I thought they were kind of pretty, though. They're almost like a shabby, chic fall so thought those were kind of pretty I'm sorry it's probably not gonna focus on it at all but 
that gives you kind of the idea. I thought that they were really pretty though. It says like, hello fall, so very thankful, always stay grateful. And they almost, <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm being a little bit morbid today. They almost look like tombstones. <laughs> like the shaping of them, they almost kind of look a little bit like tombstones, but obviously that's not what they're supposed to be. I don't know. I found these and I had a little bit of restraint and I only bought one of each because I have these like same idea of these from when they weren't fall, like a fall background. They were weird like chevrons or dots or lines or something. Um, but I went ahead and got the one each of the fall ones. This one says gather with the leaves in the background. And then this one it says thankful with the sunflowers. There's another one out there, but I didn't see it. So obviously I didn't buy it. Oh, I did get another essential oil. Uh, this one is Soothing Sandalwood. I'm curious how this one's... Oh, that is... It smells nice. It doesn't... It smells just, just fine. And it's just open. The other one had like a little like... Um, not a... Not a not a dropper or anything, but it had the thing that's in the bottle. Clearly, that's what the sign for that is. <laughs> Universal symbol for that. Um... Anyways, today I found a bunch of the different shaped candle holder, pillar, candle things. Um, a lot of them are pretty wonky, I'll be honest, but I've had to get these ones because I thought that was a lot of really pretty detail. They'd be really pretty if I grabbed three of them and stacked them because obviously I'm going to paint them. They're not going to stay blue and white. They're going to get painted, but if I'd done like two on top of each other and then another one, but... I ended up getting two of these ones and two of this one and just one of this because I found this before and I went ahead and got it then. So not that it looks like it, but that's a little bit more restrained for me. Uh, it doesn't seem like it to most people, but I held back. I held back from buying more of those because I have a little, a small bookshelf in the corner of my room. It only has three shelves on it. And it, no lie, two of those shelves are glassware and ceramic things like this. So I probably need to reel it in a little or use something because it doesn't happen often. I don't use them as often. Obviously, I don't use them as often as I buy them. But we know how that goes. All right, so these are these next few things are from Target. And I just found them this morning. And I, let me, hold on, what day is it? Today is the 14th of August. So you're probably going to see this a little delayed than normal because I have something else that I had filmed that I delayed for my last, for the last haul that, at least as of today, the last haul, which was Hobby Lobby because it was on clearance. I was like, well, of course, they're going to need to see what's on clearance as soon as possible. <laughs> of course. So these are over in their dollar spot bullseye, playground, whatever it is. It is a one set hanging sign, reversible board with four stencils. So it's a pretty hefty board. It's one side is this wood grain and one side is just your chalkboard. Sorry for the reflection there. And it comes with a bunch of stencils. I'm not gonna open them up right now because they're just like cardboard kind of stencils and they will, they will probably disappear in this room to be honest. But I will put it up pretty close so you can see it, hopefully. But these are all the different stencils. So you got two for fall, two for Halloween. Obviously, the idea of this is to do one side Halloween, one side fall. So on the fall one, it has a picture of a leaf. And then it has a I love fall most of all. And then for the Halloween, it's one with bats and one that says Hall happy Halloween. And if I can find any pictures online, I will put them in here somewhere on the screen so you can get a better idea of it. But they had this one that's the square. I'm going to move some of these so I don't end up crashing them to the ground. Then there was a pumpkin one. Obviously, same thing where one side is the wood grain, one side is black. And it comes with its own little, you know, hardware ready to hang. And it's decent. You know, like sometimes you get them and they're like pretty wimpy. But these ones feel pretty decent to me. Uh, each one of these were $3. So I was like, you know what? I'm all in. Just buy them. <laughs> <laughs> on this one it's got two different jack-o-lantern options and then one says give thanks and one says hello fall and I'm sorry I'm sure it's probably going to be a little blurry a little bit hard for you to see those they have a circle with the same thing hardware chalkboard wood grain and on this one it has 
uh, trick or treat and then it has three I feel like are a lot more you know direction of fall one says fall one's a pumpkin one some leaves if you can see those at all and I'm sorry it doesn't really like to focus on that and one more that is the same idea with the stencils and this one is a rectangle same concept <laughs> um, this one it has a sign that says from fresh pumpkins it has one that is pumpkins one that says stay spooky and one that's a little witch's hat with a moon if you can see those hopefully maybe maybe not so those ones I think that's all that it comes with and a lot of times if you're like me and you feel like you need to have all of them a lot of times you can find their bullseye stuff on Target's website. I will link it if I can find it for you below. But it's really kind of handy if you want that. You can get it and have it shipped to your house if you want all four. Because obviously it's, it's you know, it's a toss up whether you're going to come across it in a Target or not. And then these next two have a couple of little elements that are in there for you to put together. It's called a buildable wood wall art set. So it's $3 and it's got the hardware on it. Just those little triangular hooks, hanger things, hanger things. That's what we're going to call it. Um, but it's just got the, the wood, you know, wood truck, the word gather and a couple of little leafy sprigs. Um, but obviously the truck's got the pumpkin. So these are obviously fall. I don't remember if they had a Halloween one. Cause I know if it was like only Halloween was the option, I probably wouldn't get it. Not because I don't like Halloween, but just Halloween doesn't do as well on YouTube for whatever reason. So this is the same thing, the buildable wood wall art. That's complicated to say. And on this one, it has hello fall and it has three little pumpkins. So they're there just kind of in a heap and they're decent, like thickness to them. They're not super, super thin. And then you can see here what it, what they say, you know, their, their idea for you to use it as. So those were from Target. I figured I was like, well, obviously you don't really care that I had to buy like dog pee pads because I have a 12 year old dog and she's always been like this. So it's definitely not age related. <laughs> she just, you know, goes where she wants to. She's a Maltese and Pomeranian mix. I'll have to show you guys sometime. I'll have to bring her in here and show you not, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> but she's, uh, a little rascal. She pees where the heck ever she wants to. If there's a pee pad down, 90% of the time she'll pee on it. So I had to buy pee pads. That was a really long story. But I didn't want to show you everything I got from Target today because apparently it didn't matter. I told you about it anyways. All right, so the next few things. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed one. This is obviously from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't seen it yet, I bought six of these because I was like, you know what? Even if I want to cut off the pumpkin or if I want to cover the pumpkin, you could get, you know, hold on. Not that this means anything because it's also a pumpkin, but you could put any of the wood cutouts on there. Do something really cute. My friend Megan over at the Crafty Quinn, she just did something with this board and it turned out adorable. <laughs> so I did get six of them. I figured, like I said, if I cut it off, I've got that faux wood grain. Well, I guess it's not technically a faux wood grain. It's MDF board, but you know what I mean. But always be careful on them. This one seems pretty decent. Like in, it's not that crazy, you know, wobbly. <laughs> but it's got the pumpkin cut out in the top. All right, on to Ikea. So I only bought one of these and I want to remember, I want to say it was like 450. It's pretty thick and it's rather small. Hold on, I keep moving my rulers. Let me see if I can get to one. I'll give you this idea of how big it is. So from top to bottom, it is like 11 and a half inches. And from one side to the other, it's like five and it's almost it's weird measurements I'm gonna build I'm just gonna say it's because it's from you know it's it's from Ikea it's weird measurements oh it says on here right here just kidding it's 11 and three quarters by six <laughs> you couldn't have given us that extra quarter of an inch so I want to more than likely use some of my chocolate tour transfers on it I've got a couple ideas for this little guy that it would be really cute and obviously I could do it on both sides. It's got the little hole here so I can set it to, you know, tie to something and all that. 
I bought a roll of their paper. This is obviously geared towards kids. It's 98 feet or 30 meters. I'm sure that's probably why that thing, that measuring, that uh, cutting board is a wonky shape or size because I'm sure it's something to do with the metric conversion of it. Probably makes more sense to them. I'll have to let me know if anyone's watching this that uses the metric system. Obviously, I could look it up, what the conversion is, but I'm not going to do that right now. Anyways, so I got a big roll of the paper. I figured I could use it on my desk when I'm going to DIY. I could leave it out for the kids. It's probably what it'll be for. It'll probably be for the kids to use for drawing and stuff. I did get, I don't know if I have any nearby. I can't reach for it because it's, hold on. Let me make sure I don't have this fall and hit something. Um, from a... A company called um, Try Catch with a K. They sent me some of these. I have, um, I will do a little shout out for them in an upcoming U uh, YouTube video on my DIY channel, but I've used it a few times so far and no complaints at all. It's super nice. Uh, I think it comes in like four different sized rolls. You just take it and it sticks right to your desk or work area or whatever and it's reusable and you can take it and roll it up. I've done that before. The other day I did something and I ended up with like fiberglass all over my hands and that was pleasant. And uh, so I threw the paper away because I obviously didn't want to repeat that experience. Um, back to Ikea, sorry, I get, you know, I have my squirrel moments. I got this really cute little lantern. I don't remember, it probably wouldn't have been more than five or $6. But I thought it would be really pretty to do some kind of some kind of thing in there if I can. I might. I don't know. There's a way in here. Like if, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera or not. But there's like these little little things. If you bend that up with like a screwdriver, you could take the glass out and spray paint it and make it whatever color you want. I think they had them in black. I think they had them in white. But I was thinking of doing more like a bronze or copper or something. That's one of my favorite things right now for fall is having little copper accents. So I'm thinking about doing that. I'm not 100% sure yet. I don't know why. I think I can say that about most of the time when I shop. But I felt like I needed this. Um, it's obviously just a bunch of screws and... Um, anchors and such, but I thought it would be handy to have because I am always doing something and I have like, I don't know why I thought I needed it now because I have a million things on my walls. One day guys, one day I'll show you around my craft room and all of the shelves and things hanging and this and that and everything like that. I'll have to show you someday and you'll, you'll know what I mean. Today my husband put something up for me. And he's like, you know you've run out of wall space now. There's nowhere else to put anything. And I'm like, yeah, I know. Uh, so again with Ikea, I got this big jar. It is supposed to be like a cookie jar. And I'm going to make sure I bought a lid. You buy them separate. I guess that way if you want a different kind of lid, you could get a different kind of lid. Um, you kind of customize, I guess, what you want. But I have already got something in mind for it. And it's going to be Christmas and it's going to be Chocotor because uh, they have the cutest transfer that I'm going to put on this and it's going to be like Mrs. Claus's cookies or something. I just thought it would be absolutely adorable. I just had to make sure my lid fit and it does. I thought it'd be so cute on this and it's going to be adorable. And of course I've got like a little chip out of the lid. Oh, well, it's not bad. It's just a little, just a little, little Nick, little Saint Nick. Sorry, I couldn't help myself. Um, so that is everything that I got today. Uh, don't forget, if you're new here, which most of you probably are because it's only like my fourth or fifth video on this channel, don't forget to subscribe, leave me a comment below, and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.